there and welcome to this Homeland Security Special Edition report on satellites in the service of military intelligence. How is it possible to safely and constantly monitor threats thousands of miles from Israel? Iran's nuclear reactors, where the Islamist regime develops and assembles bombs that can pose a threat to world peace, installations in Syria for manufacturing chemical and biological weapons and assemble them, as well as a host of numerous critical risks across the Middle East and beyond, each of which is a menace to Israel, has propelled the Israeli espionage satellites industry, which is among the very best in the entire world. Satellites consist of the following three categories. LEO – Low Earth Orbit most satellites fall under this category, traveling at a low orbit, 300 to 1,000 kilometers above Earth's surface, circling our planet every 90 to 120 minutes. MEO – Medium Earth Orbit These are satellites that fall under this category. They travel at an altitude of 2,000 to 36,000 kilometers above Earth's surface, circling our planet every 120 minutes, 24 hours. They are primarily used for GPS. And finally, GEO – satellites travelling at a geocentric orbit at an altitude of 36,000 km above Earth's equator. These are primarily used for communications. Some notable examples are AMOS-2 and AMOS-3, both of which have been developed and produced by IAI. OFEC-10 was launched last April from the Palmachim Air Base through a Shavit launcher to its orbit at an altitude of 500 kilometers. It circles Earth every 100 minutes. It is a SAR radar based on satellite featuring very high resolution imaging of the surface it scans, including the objects above the surface. SAR technology uses the satellite's own speed thereby generating images of tiny objects at very large distances, as well as tracing unique signatures of weapon systems. So, it facilitates intelligence gathering in any weather. OFEC-10, which weighs 330 kilograms and little more than me, can detect objects whose size is merely a few dozen inches. Intelligence generated by satellites is vital for Israel's defense. It constitutes the top layer of threats coverage, the overview, from which the IDF has an accurate and comprehensive vantage point of the observed sector. The prime advantage is the cyclical data reception each time a satellite passes over its target. Espionage satellites pick up electromagnetic signals which characterize electronic weapon systems, taking images of army movements of moving sea vessels and vehicles, and thereby generating a great deal of data near real time, facilitating operational activities. Israel is believed to be in possession of six orbiting satellites, which all transmit their input to an undisclosed military base somewhere in Israel. The raw data received is further decoded, processed, the imaging further developed, matched and coordinated following which it is translated into Operation Intelligence Material for the use of the IDF Special Forces, as well as Israel's civilian leadership. One of the devices whose existence was recently cleared for publication is the camera designed and developed by L-Op. This device is charged with a bank of known reflective wavelengths the IDF is familiar and aware of, so the system is sensitive to these in particular, as they are associated with armoured vehicles, artillery, chemical installations and so on, which emit varying wavelengths which are reflected back into space. Well, we sure hope you enjoyed today's special edition. Remember, join us soon for the weekly report. In the meantime, to learn more, click on the link below where you can subscribe and visit our website. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.